Morning. Morning. <coughs> Morning, Jason. Morning. Morning. Well, today, today we're going to um, fit a rack and two side panels to uh, XT250 Yami over here. As you just saw on the floor, so we've got two side panels, one uh, luggage carrier goes on the back. That's all the tools you need for it. Um, there's left and right brackets and things like that, but this is the new approach on the XT. Yeah, it's quite exciting. We've got some luggage for it as well to go over. Basically, they uh, the side racks are there to keep the um, bags off the hot exhaust pipe, of course. And uh, the rack will just be good for a little bit of day pack. Pretty so savvy. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing we've been asked to do is to take off the 8 mil bolts. Let's see if it really does take 20 minutes to fit this on, show Jeff. What I've noticed with this bike, Jason, is that these are tightened up just to the right amount. You know, it's not over tight, but it is at least a nice crack to it. Oh, we, well, we're not used to having tight bolts and nuts and things on those cycles. Occasionally, if I'm singing opera, but besides that... <laughs> the seat's open. Uh, oh, 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 who cleaned who, this? Jason! Oh, that's rough. Let's get the old filter out first, shall we? Is that where the air filter goes? Oh, yeah, it's, it's surprisingly... Oh, look at that, dinky. Look at that. It's not even dirty. What have you, have you got the new one there, Jase? Yeah, um, here's the new one. Oh, hang on, that's the kind one. I think it's a bit bigger. That's, oh, that's not going to work. Um, oh no, it's like a bag of chips. There's lots of fresh air in it. What? That came in... That box, yeah. Actually, that filter's not bad, is it? No, but they... Yeah, go on, I'm sorry. Let's see that way. That's it. So, so just, can I show you something? Well, this is like a rubber thing, isn't it? Plastic. And Probably seals better, actually, to be honest. Yeah, the seals around here, nothing around there. So where that box goes in... I'm sorry. Where that box goes in, feels tight around there, there's a gap. This just does the rubber. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. That gives this bike another 25 more horsepower. What? Well, no, okay, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I hoped. Right, well that's how you do a uh, air filter on an XT250. Right, we're just gonna take these side panels off. The reason is, so we can actually locate this nut in here. Have a look in here. See, we can't quite get to it. Alright, so we'll just whip these off here. Ooh. Ah, I felt something go. Oh, beautiful. Brilliant! Well, look at all that. There's your fuses, battery. Okay, ah, let's do the good. other side. Actually, Jace, I, I haven't had a look at this before. Right. Nice. Basically, we'll just do the same on the other side. So, next, what we're going to do is remove the heat shield from the exhaust pipe with four Phillips screws. And Jason's doing the other side. Ah. Yes, Jason's got the other side off. That was easy, wasn't it, Jason? It's piss cake. Not much toot, you see. Like this, isn't it? Well, do we I'm, need more to it? I'm surprised how muddy it is under here. Someone's obviously been through a... Dirty river. Dirty river. Okay, well they come off really easily. Well. And there's a nice clean, clean exhaust. Oh, crack. That was a good crack there, Jason. That was a great crack. Great crack. We like cracks like that. The nose has been on tight, you see. Right, we're probably not going to need that for a while. I don't we should say crack and tight in the same sentence. Ooh. Ooh. Great to have someone catch your nuts. I would say they're factory tight. I actually lucky I had my wheat books this morning because mm. Okay, so we're putting on the um, little brackets first. The trick was just to make sure that the oval part goes to the rear of the bike. It's just a little basic little washer in here. Pops under there. Oops, put my washer on over the top of the bolt. And we're just finger tightening at this stage due to the fact that we have to get it up and under that part there as well 
and I need to get the right size wrench. Could you just lift that up? Turn, just have a go. Bit of a nightmare getting, ah, here we go. All the way you hold your... Nut? No, tongue. Oh. One of those each, one of those each. Um, nuts two. We've got one spear nut at this stage, which is interesting. Well, I've only got one nut. You slide. Oh, there's another. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Thank you. Two nuts okay. yeah. and two washes. Perfect. So let's just try to get this on first. Now, this is the tricky part. We need a 30 mil spanner as well that I haven't actually got ready yet. I'll just put that in there though, just for a moment. Right, we just decided we're going to be tightening up those back nuts, leaving this a little bit loose just at the moment. Hey, just a crazy thought, do we put, when do we put the side panels on? They're not going to interfere with no. the frame, are they? No, they're not. These are going to basically sit like that, right? Yeah. And then, um, so I need a five. I think what we should do, to be honest, yeah. is just undo the foot peg one and yeah, put it in there first so yeah. it actually holds it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Beautiful, look at that. The long bolt goes through here. Yeah. So we have to put on the heat shield first before you put on the luggage rack down here. And down here, not me. Down there. And also the side plastic panels. So you yeah. do that first. So I'm just putting on the side plastic panels as we speak. Um. So we're just tightening up the back because once we put the heat shield on we won't be able to do this. It's all a case of getting things in order so. It really is in order this job actually. Yeah it is isn't it. We've just been using these here as um, location okay. pins. Now, I can put the heat now we can on. take those off. Okay. So it's just a case of sneaking that in the back here. This is the way I... Nice. On the Oh look. Obviously good at sneaking things in. See, here. This is our last bit. So as I lift, swing this over. Voila. Big bolt. Oop. That, that'll do. And the nut on the other side. Holy smoke. It's not much, not much nut, not much room, but it'll do. Go. Um, have I got the wrong apparatus? It's between your legs. Um, I was upon reaching down. Thank you. Getting stuff off the floor there. Okay. Voila, look, this side, step back a bit there, is done. That's on, that's on. Now we're going to do the other side. And a couple of tools. Right, this time, your turn to see if we can get it. Well, it is tricky, Dickie. Yeah, it's it? just a little bit. I went for the first one, I thought. That'll hold the seat in place. Yep, that seat ain't coming off. Maybe the person on the seat, but not the seat. Right, the final stage. Can't forget the uh, screws holding the um, plastic cover on. Well, that'll stop the sponginess too a little bit, won't it? Well, there yeah, it is. Now it's nice and tight. And fair. Yeah, good. Brilliant. And just one on the other side. So there we have it, folks. The PM rack system, uh, side and and back carrier. I think it looks really nice on the bike. It's not too big and bulky like some of them. And every 
every nut and bolt just fitted where it should do, so it's great. It also gives you a bit of protection for your old can there. So the idea is I can then put on something like this, a little rig box that will probably go on the back quite nicely, just in there like that. And then if I do go on with a bit of an adventure tour, I can chuck something over like that and have it strapped down at the back, sort of something like that. So that's quite a good little setup. Well, I guess that's about it. Then, that's Jace, it. well that's done. Fantastic. Again, thank you. Thank you yeah. very much. Well, that's it on the XT250 luggage rack fitting system. It looks really good and simple to do, don't you think? Yes, it does. I like the way you describe it. Good luggage. <laughs>